Hello, my name is Adam Krieger with Preferred Strategies. I'd like to provide a brief video introduction into where to go to download and install the Microsoft Power Pivot plugin for Excel 2010 or newer. So the prerequisite for the Power Pivot uh, is Excel 2010, but you also need to have the .NET Framework 4.0 and the Visual Studio 2010 tools for Office Runtime uh, installed in order to utilize the Power Pivot. So the first step in getting started is, is to determine what version of Microsoft Office that you're running. You'll either be running a 32-bit or 64-bit version. We'll show you how to go and determine that. And then that we'll go to PowerPivot.com and determine, uh, show you where to go to, to grab the right download files and what's applicable to, uh, to your version. Um, and then just keep in mind, uh, you can download and try the installs, uh, but you may need to actually install the dot, you will need to install the .NET Framework 4.0 and Visual Studio 2010 tools before you do the Power Pivot if they aren't currently installed. So first step, let's go and uh, show you in Excel. So I just opened up uh, a document here in Excel, happens to be using Power Pivot. If I go to File and go down to Help, You'll notice here about Microsoft Excel, and it's telling me the version of 32-bit. So on this workstation, if I were going to download and install Power Pivot, I'd be looking for the 32-bit downloads. Next, let's go over to a uh, browser. And what you want to do is just type in PowerPivot.com. And that's going to redirect you to the applicable page at the Microsoft site. you notice here... Um, this pink box and it says download power pivot so I would go ahead and click on that download power pivot and then that's going to redirect me to another page you'll notice here a couple different files um, these are the downloads for the power pivot plugin there's a x64 that would be for the 64-bit version so you'd want to use that to download if you're running a 64-bit version of Microsoft Office uh, keep in mind these are um, of the office version not necessarily your operating system and then here's the x86 would be the 32-bit version so per the uh, the install on, on this workstation for the version of Excel that I was running I would have actually pulled the 32-bit download so again 64 64-bit x86 would be the 32-bit but before you download and install those um, if you scroll to the bottom there's a list of instructions and if you go uh, and follow these instructions to install the you know Power Pivot uh, plugin, and here's a, if you click on this, install the .NET Framework 4.0 and Visual Studio 2010 tools. So you may just want to do those first. Um, you may want to ask your uh, PC technicians if, uh, if there's any issues with this. Uh, um, I don't think there's any harm if you have earlier versions to to load these up. However, I don't know if there's any compatibility issues with other applications you may be running. Um, but install the .NET Framework 4.0, and there's the, the click on that to get the download, as well as the Visual Studio 2010 tools. Um, you don't have to actually, I found that you uh, don't have to install Office 2010 after that. Uh, if you already have Office 2010 installed, you can go ahead and just reinstall and load up these other versions, and then install the Power Pivot to Excel, which is the download above at the top of the page. Um, if for some reason some of these links uh, don't work currently, if you look down at the bottom, you can also find the same links down here as well. So um, I think that's uh, all you need. Um, if you have any questions or have any issues, uh, feel free to, to contact Preferred Strategies. Um, put my contact details there. So we uh, wish you the best of luck and look forward to uh, talking to you soon.